Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 18, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we have seen some downwards momentum in the U.S. indices, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and also the Nasdaq. But this could um, basically be just the beginning of the fall in the S&P 500. So we went down towards uh, 3,900 where we found support, but we could go all the way down towards the 20 exponential moving average, which is roughly at 3,870. There should be quite a lot of, of support at this level so we may fall towards this level here and then head towards 4000 so that is basically the idea at the moment to wait until it basically bounces off the 20 exponential moving average a break um, a break of the 20 exponential that opens the door to the 40 at uh, 3800 and then also to the 50 at 3000 a of 780 technical indicators they are turning around. MACD is turning around. Stochastic is turning around. CCI is turning around. Uh, but the RSI is bullish at this point, And we are at 74. So we are, it is very, very overvalued at this point. And we were also at the top of the Bollinger Band here. So it is, is at this point, would not be strange if we fell towards the middle of the Bollinger Band at roughly 3,000. That is right here, give or take. 3,860 give or take around that area. But these pullbacks are at the moment buying opportunities because we are within this channel. And every time we go to the bottom of the channel, we can uh, we can buy. And every time we go to the top, we can sell. But always a bad idea to sell uh, in the seat. So let's look at Dow Jones. We can see that we have a rallied at the end of the session. We are just at green 0 0.04. So there is still a few hours left of the session. So, But at this point, we are just tra trading sideways. It, it looks like we are just going to trade sideways at this point. The 20 exponential will move this way, and then we will go higher. If we pull back towards the 20, then we'll find resistance at uh, 31,140. Uh, Three, a break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 and 40, roughly 30,700, uh, 30, give or take. We are not very close to the top of the Bollinger Band. We're basically in the middle of nowhere. Technical indicators, they are really flat, but the RSI is very high at this point. So it may well be that we need a, quite a big pullback before we go higher from here. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So Nasdaq has fallen. We did fell all the way down to uh, an almost, uh, yeah, what was right, around this area here. That was uh, 30,560.46. And then we basically turned around. At the moment, we're trading at 13,639. Technical indicators, they are turning around for this, but uh, expect a rally here. Most of the major uh, tech companies uh, fell today for example apple and tesla and and most of the basically big te tech companies if you look at at uh, nasdaq we can see that tesla fell nearly two percent facebook uh, nearly one percent microsoft third apple over two percent and so on and so on netflix and so on so the major tech companies they fell and then of course that has a major implication for uh, this uh, for this industry but they are also getting close to support. We can see that Tesla, for example, is right at the 50 moving average. So expect a bounce in these uh, in these uh, these major stocks will also, which will also affect the Nasdaq positively. So the middle of the bullish band will probably three uh, 13,500. That will most likely be the uh, as far as this will go. Technical indicators, they are they are still they are basically turned around. RSI is bullish still, the CCI is flat, stochastic is turning around, and the MACD is turning around. But usually they turn around and they very quickly turn up to the upside. So pullbacks from here, they are buying opportunities. 
the target is 14,000 14, and then 15,000. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see your newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.